the same issue, if, okay, that, if I may. Okay, I'm coming to you next on Taiwan. You said, if you want to stop Xi from invading Taiwan, quote, let's open a branch of the NRA in Taiwan and put an AR-15 in the hands of every family and train them how to use it. I stand that by will it. give Xi a taste of American exceptionalism, end yes. quote. The National Police in Taiwan announced a zero-gun policy last year. Is this a serious policy proposal? And if it isn't, why do you keep repeating it? Well, it's part of a broader deterrence strategy. And so I think I'm going to respectfully disagree with Ron here. I think the next U.S. president needs to be crystal clear that at least for the foreseeable future, the U.S. will absolutely defend Taiwan. And it is with that clarity that we actually achieve deterrence. But I have a broader strategy than that. We need to get on side in our relationship with India, take it to the next level. India has to be able to block the Andaman Sea, which is where China gets most of its Middle Eastern oil supplies. That's critical. I also do believe the Second Amendment is a critical way of preventing foreign autocrats from being able to... It's worked in America. Why wouldn't it work in Taiwan? So it is part of a broader strategy. But I do think that we need to be specific about our deterrent strategy, or else Xi Jinping is just encroaching by the day. And the reason why we're not doing it for China, I want to be crystal clear, is because we're scared. Why are we scared? Because we depend on them for our modern way of life. Why do we depend on them for our modern way of life? It's because Nikki Haley's latest friends like Larry Fink have created commingled economies with BlackRock telling Exxon and Chevron they can't drill here while being a shareholder of PetroChina, not applying those same constraints in China. So it is our economic dependence on China that makes us scared. If that were a Russian spy balloon, we'd have shot it down in an instant. If that were a Russian spy base in Cuba, we'd be, turning the, we'd, be, we'd be actually going hard on them instead of turning the other way as we are with China. So it comes back down to that economic dependence. We cannot depend on them for our pharmaceuticals, our semiconductors, and people have been lied to for a long time. Our own military, the F-35 jets that we make in this Thank country, you. depend on China, and it's Thank going to take you. an outsider to fix that broken establishment. Thank you, Mr. Ramaswamy. Ambassador Haley.